Now to rising back up. For the first time, a Jacksonville Sheriff's officer nearly killed in the line of duty nine months ago is sharing his battle to get back on his feet and back on duty only with News 4 Jacks, starting with the moments after he was shot. I couldn't move at all. Um, I can hear my part partners that we were there with. I can hear someone yell, where's Malik? That's Officer Malik Derekad, who today is still in intensive physical therapy. His doctors say he's getting stronger every day. And News for Jacks reporter Vic Migalucci tells us this officer who was down is rising back up. Nico. It's the call that changed the life forever. Whoa, that's a big dog. <laughs> At least three gunshots in about two seconds. One officer down. Please, please, Nico. That is the shooter's mother pleading for him to stop. Two-year veteran police officer Malik Derekad is down. He's bleeding from his neck. We need a cover team to get to this officer and get him out of harm's way. His fellow officers pulling him out of the line of fire before the gunman kills himself. What's going through your mind at this time, Malik? My wife, my son, um, being there for my family. Um, if this was you know, my last moments, um, you know, just wanted to tell my family that I love them. For the first time publicly, Officer Derekod is telling his own story. I make eye contact with him for a glimpse moment and I can see that he steps out from a back bedroom and then that's when I see a bright burst of like light and I immediately just hit the floor and I, all I can see is the sky at that point. Law enforcement is more than a career. It's a calling for Derek Codd. It's just something that I always wanted to do I, from like the age of 12. Um, I was infatuated with law enforcement. Now 26, he remembers his first experience as a police explorer in North Miami Beach. That led to a tour in the Navy, which brought him to Jacksonville, where he joined the Florida Air National Guard and the Police Academy, his mentor pinning his badge at graduation. What is it about policing that makes you satisfied? It's just protecting the community, protecting those that can't protect themselves and serving. And it was part of that commitment that brought him here to this home on the west side on March 26th, 2023. He was on a task force looking for Tyleco Maduro, who sped away from police on a traffic stop a week earlier. Derekod's body cam shows Maduro popping into the doorway with an SKS rifle. Exactly firing at us. Firing several shots just past his own mother. X-ray 4 switch 1 is down. He rescued directly to the scene. We're about to do an officer rescue. One of those bullets hitting Derekod's flashlight in his hand. Shrapnel ricocheting into his neck and shoulders, severely damaging his spinal cord. But Derekod isn't going to stay down. He has fought in the hospital with help from his wife, Jasmine, and his five-year-old son, Malachi, getting stronger every day. Um, he's, he's there almost every day, and he's just, he's my sunshine. Like, when I see him, his smile lights me up, and he just, like I said, keeps me going. What did you have to relearn to do? Essentially everything. Thanks to a talented team at Brooks Rehabilitation, Derekod is up again. This machine takes the weight off his legs. Right now, we're, like I said, we're continuing to, I'm learning how to stand and walk on my own. What's your goal? I want him to walk out. I want him to walk. Yep. Just leave you in the dust? Yep. Brooks physical therapist Sidney Dalton and Dr. Howard Weiss are with Derek Codd every step of the way. Hey, that was good. It's a long and painful recovery, which has included rough stints in the hospital because of infections. Pull it up. He's still learning to use the right side of his body. Good. This is a strong um, American veteran. Um, police officer that wants to recover and every day uh, every week I think of something new for him 
another thing that we could try and we've tried lots of things and we keep doing it. Um, his occupational therapists, um, his physical therapist, um, they, they put it to him and he's come back pushing. Seems like your friends now too. I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> I get to bug him all the time too. <laughs> And he's got what it takes. He sure does. And I'm going to push him either way. So <laughs> yeah. there's days I come in and he d may not want to see me, but um, I'm going to keep pushing him, pushing him hard. It's motivation to get him back to playing basketball with Malachi, out of his wheelchair and driving again. And this might come as a surprise, but if given the opportunity, would you go back out on the streets as a police officer? Most definitely. After everything you've been through, yeah, you know, that's because I'm staying in the fight and trying to get back to what I was, what I was doing before. He has the full support from his brothers and sisters in blue, eagerly waiting for his return to duty. A dream that seems more and more likely every day. What is your message to everybody who has been there for you? Just very gracious, very appreciative and thankful for all the support that my family and me have received over these past, say, going on nine months. Derek Hodd does have a lot to smile about. His son is in school, and he and his wife just bought a home here in Jacksonville. He's also one of the few officers on JSO's unmanned aircraft team, so he hopes to get back to using drones to protect our community. What an inspiration his story is to all kinds of people facing their own personal challenges, the perseverance that he's demonstrating. He is incredible, and I'll tell you this, quitting is not in his vocabulary. Well, Vic, we know that you talk to his doctor, therapist. Is it common for someone to recover from a spinal cord injury this serious? It is not common, mm -hmm. Joy. There is a long and uncertain road ahead. Dr. Weiss said he's been working with spinal cord injuries for three decades now, and while only a handful of people walk out again, he is optimistic that we will see Malik Derekod wow. break those barriers because he's a young man, he's in good shape, and he just does not give up. So we are all invited, by the way, as he walks out of Brooks. We're anxiously and eagerly awaiting that day. In the meantime, if you do want to cheer him up and root him on, you can send a card to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office headquarters. We have that address on our website, along with dispatch calls that you have not heard before, and photos of Malik as a father, a husband, a service member, police officer, and now a fighter motivated to recovery. Just go to newsforjax.com and look on the homepage. And our prayers are with him and his family as well. Vic, thank you.